among the many end of year celebrations is one of my favorites and that is the celebration of our retirees. This year we have 15 retirees from all levels and they account for over 400 years of experience teaching our children. Now the last year with the pandemic has been uh, challenging on many fronts but what we learned among many things is the importance of teachers and that face-to-face -face connection with each student. So with that in mind, we ask our retirees two main questions this year. First, tell us about an experience during the pandemic that made an impact on you and or your students. And then also, what will you definitely miss in retirement about teaching and what will you not miss in retirement? So let's listen to what our retirees have to say. Uh, but before we do that, I do want to extend a congratulations to all 15 of our retirees on behalf of the Penn Manor School Board and thank all of them for their years of dedicated service to our students. Thank you. Hi, I'm Alan Dutton, and I am about to retire. I've been teaching in Penn Manor for about 35 and a half years. I say it like that, it sounds like I'm old. And I think, I'm not that old, and then I look in the mirror. <laughs> okay, I used to have hair. So I'm at Lee Tord Elementary and I'm also at Marduk Elementary. And for all of that time of 35 years, I've been at Marduk, and that's been my home school forever. I've also been at a number of ele other elementaries throughout the district and have had some time in most of them. Just great experience and lots of wonderful times with faculty, staff, as well as kids and making music, getting a chance to help them grow in skills and enjoy the process of learning, loving, and sharing music together. It's just the best. A COVID experience. <laughs> what did we miss out on? Well, this is my classroom. It's a cart. <laughs> So, one of the things of the year was having a classroom to do music. And we've been able to make that work with the help of some finagling and some dragging. Uh, but for really missing out in terms of the musical education of the students, uh, we missed out on sharing and developing music with each other in ensembles. This year, and the end of last year, sharing music with family and friends through performance. And due to the restrictions of COVID, we just, we couldn't have after or before school ensembles. So students missed out on the opportunity of growing and enjoying group music making in a performance ensemble. We did a lot of great music in music class but that's not the same as polishing something special for performance and for sharing with others that an ensemble gives you a chance to do. So that was disappointing. Mm. I will miss students and music making, helping them grow in understanding and skills, watching the light bulb go on, when they make a connection, the smile of joy when they accomplish something beautiful. And they don't need me to tell them, they can hear it. They know that it just sounds fantastic. Hearing, hearing how lovely a round in three parts sounds, I'll miss that. Children singing their hearts out, unafraid and uninhibited. <laughs> Doesn't always happen, but Man, when it does, it is sweet. Sixth graders 
occasionally forgetting to be cool <laughs> and getting excited about a great accomplishment, uh, sometimes with a guitar or some rhythm instruments or with their voices. I'll miss the supportive and encouraging connections with colleagues, friendships we've developed over the years of just being together regularly each day. <laughs> All my life on a cart, or sometimes multiple carts. Uh, going from room to room, forgetting a marker somewhere, and then ending the day with two extra ones that don't belong to me. I will not miss not having the instrument that I need. An unexpected question from a student, and I think, oh, if I had that thing in my room as a demonstration model, or that instrument that would show perfectly what they're asking. Haven't had that. That's, that's been occasionally frustrating. I will not miss having to plug this in electric and HDMI. Every time I walk into the room, every time I walk out, unplugging, taking those things, I will not miss carrying or schlepping all the instruments and books and materials from one class to another, as well as from one building to another. There's a lot more that I will miss, though. I have loved being a part of Penn Manor for 35 years plus. Being a part of the music department, the music team, and focusing on developing and sharing the beauty and the joy of music and music making. Such good stuff. Hello, my name is Mr. Hess, uh, David Hess. Uh, I've been teaching here at Penn Manor for 38.04 years, uh, all in the health, physical education, safety education, and anatomy. Uh, I started the anatomy 38 years ago. Uh, with this year and the pandemic, it's, it's uh, a lot harder uh, in that uh, the masks, uh, wearing the masks every day, uh, that, that's starting to get old. And uh, the first couple of weeks, uh, I actually was, was getting a little headache at the end of the day from, from uh, wearing the mask all the time. Um, but I think our kids have bought into it pretty good. They, they do a, a great job. A couple of reminders here and there to wear the masks. But uh, as, a, as a whole for the school, I think they did a great job. Uh, as far as the phys ed side of it, I think uh, we didn't have any locker rooms going on with the renovations. And so we decided as a department that we're just going to have sneakers and we're limited in space. Uh, so inside, uh, we only had one and a half gyms kind of uh, since they took the other one down. And sometimes we have five classes. We have a temporary gym over here uh, that we use. And, uh, but still more like uh, lifetime activities that we can uh, offer to the kids to continue after high school uh, to improve their overall health and fitness. Uh, that I think has kind of gone down a little bit. Uh, I'd like to see that come back and, and uh, so kids have something, a baseline so that we can go out and they can join a health club and they kind of know what's going on. Uh, recreational volleyballs or softballs or leagues like that outside of high school after they're done here. Uh, so we do a great job with that as a department, I think. Uh, what I'm going to miss is probably the camaraderie of our department, uh, the phys ed department. Um, not only in years past, uh, um, but the present group that we have now. Uh, we're all very dedicated and uh, committed to health and fitness and safety of our students. And uh, we have to get along together. Uh, we cooperate together because we share gym space, we share equipment, uh, we share classrooms. We don't have our own classrooms, so we're constantly moving here and there. And, uh, <coughs> 
One thing that I do want to commend the school district on is keeping the safety ed uh, course, the classroom part. They get the students get their 30 hours, which is required by the state, and uh, they get their phys ed requirement as well, all, all in the sophomore year. Uh, I think the uh, district should be proud uh, that uh, they did keep that. They don't realize how many lives that they did save. Uh, I think our students are a little bit more mature uh, when, we, when we talk in, in safety aid class and uh, I think the parents have a lot to do with that as well so uh, the attitudes that the students are getting from the class uh, when they go out on the road they kind of have a little bit of knowledge ahead of uh, some other school districts that don't have safety ed. My daughters went to LS, they don't have safety ed and then teaching her how to drive that was, that was difficult. Okay? Uh, but uh, we do a great job with that, and even our present staff uh, with Mr. Vassell and Ms. Forney and, and Mr. Widener. Uh, so I think the district should be uh, really commended for that. Uh, my accomplishments, uh, not only here in the, in, in the safety ed room and, and the health and out in the gym and, and the anatomy, uh, I coached football for eight years and track and field for 35 years. Uh, I've had uh, five school records broken uh, in, in the long jump and the triple jump uh, and I want to see that continue uh, after I retire a la Mr. Herman uh, whether I'll come back and, and coach track and field uh, that would be great uh, but uh, um, we'll see what happens next year. Uh, the pandemic also hurt a little bit because last year we we started uh, our season it was the Friday before our first scrimmage and the school said no we're done so uh, uh, especially my seniors who didn't have a junior year uh, that kind of hurt a little bit so uh, but they're out there and they're plugging away and, and uh, the guys are doing very well as well as the girls they're uh, putting a lot of time and a lot of effort in. I won't miss getting up at 5 o'clock 5 30 in the morning I won't miss the cold windy uh, track and field practices uh, even though I enjoy doing the track but still <laughs> in March. It's cold and windy out there, so that's, uh, that's a little tough. Um, our, our boys were uh, 2017 uh, LL League champions. They were undefeated, first time in the history of the school for that. Uh, we had some tremendous athletes then, not only runners, but jumpers and throwers and hurdlers. Uh, we had a very well-rounded team. Uh, so uh, uh, that was uh, another accomplishment that uh, uh, our kids should be proud of, the school should be proud of, and, and I was a part of that. Hi, I'm Skip Reddick. I've been teaching in the Penn Manor School District for the past 32 years. I spent uh, six years teaching in New Jersey before that, and I actually spent a year before that teaching at Lancaster Catholic. Well, I remember distinctly March 13th getting the announcement that we had a week off because of this COVID situation. And on the way home, listening to the radio. They came on with the interruption and here the uh, uh, Pennsylvania State Education Association said that we had two weeks off and I never thought it would impact us as much as it has uh, since that time. Um, they say you can't teach an old dog new tricks but boy we had to do it this past year and uh, we learned many, many different options, especially those of us who are, are not as uh, technically uh, advanced as uh, our, younger, our younger peers are. But uh, we've made it through it, and uh, I'm sitting in the brand new Penn Manor Auditorium, which is just fabulous, and uh, I see light at the end of the tunnel and uh, we are actually having a concert here tomorrow night. We're having a rehearsal today with the middle school. Going to be having a concert tomorrow night. And uh, I see the, the, the future 
we're, we're through it. We're through it, and it's only going to get better after this. Definitely what I'm not going to miss is having to do the Google Classroom and uh, teach online. Um, other things that I'm, I'm sure that are, are top of the list for, for many other retirees are getting up in the morning, definitely looking forward to, to sleeping in a little bit, maybe maybe into seven o'clock in the morning now nowadays, and uh, not having to make a lunch every day, not looking uh, forward to doing that um, again. Um, other things, it's just this year has been one of those years where you just look at, uh, look at things and say, it just can't get any worse than what it has. And of course, something comes along that, uh, that tops the week before. So I am actually uh, thankful for the staff I've worked with for the past several years. They have been a blessing, and it's only in these times that you realize how close you've grown to, uh, um, to people and how you've helped them and they've helped you. So it's been a long year, but an amazing year at that. Doris Long, 12 month secretary at Martyville Middle School. I've worked for the district 30 years and I've worked for Martyville 25 years. Um, I enjoy my work immensely. Uh, I love people, but for everything in life, there's a beginning and an ending. So I would really like to look forward to retiring, enjoying my family, family time, my home and just relaxing. One of the greatest things I will not miss is my friendly alarm going off in the morning at about five o'clock. Uh, it'll be a peaceful life and uh, this past year has been uh, horrific for all of us. When it started last March our biggest concern was paper supplies. I have never ever experience something that uh, has affected everything. It's from blended learning to virtual. Attendance this year was immense and always changing. And I really wish the students, the teachers, everyone, Penn Manor family and the Martyville family, peace and blessings. <music>